Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create work files using BBA. Friends, this is very useful automation and it can make your life very easy if you have to create multiple files from Excel data. Let me show you the data first. Here I have taken the example of students marks. You can see on this data worksheet we have student name, roll number, class, section and then we have the subjects and their marks and then we have total marks and the percentage here we have pass and fail so we have simply put the formula for pass and fail if the percentage is less than 33 then it will be fail otherwise it will be pass and then we have taken here grade now i'll tell you how can you create the multiple mark sheet files for each student here i have created a mark sheet template you can see this is the template and we want to create the multiple files using this template so let me go to the setting sheet and here you can see we have to put the folder path wherein we want to create these files i have created a folder on desktop that is a simple test folder just copy the path and paste that path here now let's say i want to create the excel files just click on this button you can see the files are being created status bar you can see here it is just showing the progress so there are 15 student and all the 15 files have been created now let me show you the test folder you can see there are 15 files are available it is just putting the student name then the class and section so let me open one file it will look like this now let me close this and delete all the files from here now i will show you how it will create the word file so just click on this button you can see the status bar it is just showing the progress and you can see the folder also it is creating the word files all right so it's done just click on done now you can see the mark sheet for each student have been created in word let me open one file you can see here this is the mark sheet which we have created in excel now it is available on word similarly you can create in pdf also let me delete these files first then go to the setting sheet and just click on pdf button so again you can see the progress in status bar all the 15 files have been created and you can see now these are 15 pdf files you can open any of the file and the mark sheet will look like this so friends in place of this mark sheet template you can use your own template and then you can use this automation now i'll show you the coding part of this automation so we have three different buttons these are simple images this is excel image word image and pdf image i have created three different macro first for excel file creation then for word file creation and pdf file creation i'll go to the developer tab and visual basic here you can see these are three macro available in this file First, I will explain you the Excel file creation. In this macro, first of all, I have put application dot display alert equal to false and application dot screen updating equal to false. We don't want to display any alert and we don't want to fluctuate our screen while this macro will run. All right, then I have taken three different variable for worksheet, dim DSH edge worksheet, dim TSH edge worksheet and setting SH edge worksheet. DSH I have assigned to the data sheet wherein our data is available then TSH I have assigned to the template sheet which is mark sheet template all right and then I have used the setting SH and here I have used the setting sheet the first sheet wherein we have put the buttons and the folder path now here I have used the application dot display status bar equal to true it may be possible you have 100 records, 1000 records or 10,000 records. Then you will start creating the files so that you can see how many files have been created. It will display in status bar. Initially status bar will be blank. Then here I have taken two more variable dim i as integer and then I have used dim file name as a string. And I have taken one more variable that is dim nwb as workbook. 
now i have put the loop here that is for loop for i equal to 2 2 and here i have used the code to get the last row of data sheet so friends we are putting the loop in data sheet wherein all the student names are available from 2 till the last row first of all as soon as this loop will start the status bar will be changed that will be i minus 1 so first time i value will be 2 here we are using i minus 1 which is 1 right so first file will be created 1 slash then we are putting the number of files so number of files will be the last row minus 1 because first row will be header that is why we are taking the loop from 2 all right now here we are setting the values tsh which is the template file so template file dot range c3 dot value so let me show you that go to the template sheet here first of all this is c3 which is the student name then c4 is the roll number so let me show you c3 value equal to dsh dot range a and i i will be the row number which dynamically will be changed a and i dot value so on the data sheet a is the student name and accordingly it will change so we are putting the student name here similarly we are putting the roll number for on c4 here then similarly here we are putting class and section which is the f3 and f4 and taking from the d and c column and now we are putting the marks of subjects so we are putting it from d7 to d12 you can see here this is the d column d7 to d12 this we have put the fix we are not changing it here we have used the sum formula here we will use the sum formula all right then for the grade we have used the formula here also i'll show you the grades is available in another worksheet so we have used the mark if mark will be zero percent then it will be failed the mark also will be failed if it is 33 percent then the grade will be d and the remarks will be poor so 33 to 50 percent it will be poor 50 to 70 it will be c grade and remarks will be average similarly for 70 to 90 it will be grade b and good above 90 it will be excellent and here you can see i have used the vlookup function vlookup so marks obtained divided by total marks to get the percentage and then we have used the table array from the grade which is a1 to c6 2 comma 1 here in place of 0 we are using 1 and similarly we are getting the remarks so this time we have used the column number 3 and here we have used the column number 2 then here to get the percentage the total marks of 10 divided by total marks result whether it is pass or fail we have simply used a formula if this value is fail then it will be fail otherwise it will be pass or you can simply put if this percentage is less than 33 then it will be fail otherwise it will be pass these are fixed we have to change the value on these four cells and these six cells which is total 10 cells i'll show you the code here you can see we are using these 10 lines only once we have filled the template then we have taken the file name variable so we will define the file name so file name we are taking the dss dot a and i value which is the student name then break it and here we are using the c and i which is the class dash then we are using the d and i which is the section and then close the bracket and dot excel sx because we are creating the excel files then we have used the tss dot copy tsh dot copy tss is the template file if i will use this code then what will happen tsh worksheet will be copied to new excel file and that will be activated right so new excel file will be activated wherein the tsh which is the mark sheet template will be available and then here we have used set nwb as active purpose then here i have used nwb dot seats one so there will be one seed then we have used used range dot copy 
then we have used the paste special value so basically once we have copied that template worksheet into new excel workbook then we are just pasting the formulas as value all right because we have used some vlookup formula and some other formula there then we are just selecting the a1 otherwise it will display all lines will be selected whenever somebody will open that excel file then we have saved that excel file nwb as save as first of all we need to provide the folder path so folder path we are taking from setting sheet from f4 so here we have already defined the setting sheet so we can use the setting sh also all right dot range f4 and then slash and then the file name so once we have save as the file into that folder then we will close that file and same activity will repeat for the next time and the status bar also will be changed once the loop is completed we have changed the status bar as blank and then the message will be done so friends this code is to create the excel file now the similar code we will use to the other method i'll show you for the pdf creation you can see this is the similar code i have just copied it and then i have made the changes here only once the template is filled in excel file code we were moving that template worksheet to the new excel file but here we are using the tss dot export as fixed format then we are using the excel type pdf and the file name and the file name variable we have defined this is the same which we have used in excel the only difference is we have just changed the extension as dot pdf so this is the same code only this line is different all right friends now i'll come to the create word files module so this is also the same code there are few differences here we have used these four different line dim word app as object dim doc as object then we have set the word app as create object word dot application so basically we are creating a word application then word app dot visible equal to true all right so we have created a blank word application and make it visible true then we are using the same code to filling the template once template is filled then what we are doing here we are creating a new document word document so we are using the set doc equal to word app dot documents dot add new document will be created then we are using doc dot pay setup dot orientation equal to one so basically we are changing the orientation to landscape all right then what we are doing here we are copying the template data so tss dot usen dot copy it will paste on that word document all right so once data is available on that word document then we are using the save as method doc dot save as and then we are providing the path here and then slash file name so file name we have used here this is again the same method which we have used in excel and pdf only difference is we have just changed the extension here and once this document is saved we are just closing the document and then we are closing the word application also we have used word app dot quit and then changing the status bar and message is done all right friends so that is how we have created these three macro once these three macro are created we have just assigned the macro like right click on the image assign macro and we have assigned the excel macro here and then here we have assigned the word macro this is for word file creation here we have assigned the pdf you can use this method your other purpose like invoice related data you can create the multiple invoice and you can do some other activity using this method i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching